tell me the story about the genie in a bottle if I didn't run off, remember? Ah, uh, yes. All right. Where did I leave off? Oh, I remember. The genie came out and was going to eat the shepherd boy who opened the bottle. Right. As the genie opened its wide, menacing mouth, the shepherd boy suddenly had an idea. Did he throw a jumpy dumpty into the genie's mouth? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he would have done if he had a jumpy dumpty. But the shepherd boy didn't have anything like that. He said to the genie, Wait, how could your massive body fit inside such a small bottle? I won't ever believe it unless I see it with my own eyes. The genie became angry and said, Mwahahaha, foolish boy, you dare question my powers? The genie then returned inside the bottle and the boy swiftly sealed it shut. Yay! That mean genie won't ever come out again! But can the genie sleep inside such a tiny bottle? It's probably not very comfortable. No. But the genie was captured and sealed away in the bottle because it did many bad things. So the most important thing to remember is, if you do something bad and don't want to get locked up, then don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs>